What's up, guys? I'm making the best cheesecake you've ever had. Did you know that there were two Rwandan genocides? If you investigate, people will believe there were two genocides. Stop the investigation. Are we in war? Oh, yes, we are. I think we're in war. We are. Head and neck cancer? Dream Station 1 emits formaldehyde. Ah. You can always try to fight it. You can always try to sue what? <laughs> The Gates Foundation or something? <laughs> I got fired for not getting jabbed. See if you can sue them. Probably gonna sue a bank. Yeah. What are you gonna sue, Switzerland? Like, who are you gonna sue? Oil's bad. Oil's the greatest product f***ing ever. Thank we God. should be drilling like crazy. It's really reached this kind of like crazy, rainbow foaming nonsense layer. Strap some knives to your shoes and just start kicking. Get a gun as well. Fatal windmill kick. <laughs> One of the disturbing things is uh, when they ship stuff from China, they'll spray pesticide just in the center. But if whatever product you bought is in the center, it's over soaked in pesticide. DJ Bauer with the 15. DJ uh, B. Where's Mo 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 with the detox? Did he get Mo 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 Masada? I hope not. I should hope not. What is your opinion on Tim Pool? I have a lot of well developed opinions that probably need to be stated about that. You know, there's a lot that I could say right now, just you guys wouldn't believe the sort of drama. I think my, I think when I let my opinion be known about that, it's really gonna illuminate a lot of things and really just kind of put it in perspective for you guys. But you're gonna be hearing about that. I'm doing my Tim Pool podcast um, an hour after this one. Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna, no, we're gonna talk, I'm gonna give my opinion. I'm gonna spend an hour going over my opinion. Oh, wait, on is that gonna be the Sam After Dark show? That's Sam After Dark. Yeah, you guys are gonna have to tune in separate one. for that one. <laughs> It's the Tim no, Pool expose. Like the dossier. Tim Pool, no holds barred. Just everything I have to say about Tim Pool is coming out. <laughs> Just wait. Oh my God. East Palestine cover up is so bonkers. Yeah. Do you know? Do you follow this guy? Nah. Mega Garbaggio. It's, he's pretty funny, yeah. but he, he's just posting how they modified the uh, toxicology profile for vinyl chloride, like uh, really? days before the derailment. Oh what? my God. That's proof. So much proof out here, man. There's a there's a uh, glut of proof. Lately, when these things are happening, I'm like erring on the oh, side the of, day. oh, it's probably just like a coincidence, or it's like it's not. Day. There's no way that. There's no way all these trains and factories are getting blown up, and it's a coincidence. And then every time, it's like proven. My brother lives 50 miles east of Pittsburgh. Is he gonna get cancer? I would get out of there. I'd, at the very least, get a um, air filter for your home and start worrying about that it's not it's not a good situation that east palestine stuff i can't believe there's not violence uh happening i would never encourage such a thing but that's it's it's an attack it's an act of war it's it start the food the food thing is an act of war and like poisoning people nick was on stream last night nick was like are we in war i mean we're in oh yes we are i think we're in war we are yeah but we've been it's it's a uh, you know it's been ramping up in intensity and it's been a uh, Combination of soft, cold warish, not cold warish, but you know, not direct action, psyop stuff, just for 100 years. But it's getting, it's getting undeniably um, worse. Man, be careful. Get an air filter at the least, at the very least. Get a gun as well. What? T what the legally? Frick? What the heck is good down here? What Local the heck? Feel like I need body armor when I go outside most places. Where's that? Macon, Georgia. Yeah, he's down in my hometown. Is huh? it dangerous there? Yeah, I went down there with a buddy. Man, like a every ago, stuff is getting shootout. Stuff is getting dangerous. It's time to adapt. We went to Crystal's and there was like gunfight in the parking lot, like across the street. That That's is crazy. some spooky stuff, man. Not a lot to do down there, man. Oh but, my uh, god! So. Wow, Andal says, "Yo, Sam, I'm a big fan. I got fired for not getting jabbed. Used to be a runner for Tasca Cranston. I got a CDL and now I'm saving money big. Would recommend all these thirty somethings go get a CDL. I'm 22. See if you can sue them." And I don't, I don't say that, I don't say that lightly. I don't think that um, it's good to sue people. I've never, I've never sued anybody. I've never been a, a, a legal. I've never really threatened any legal sh with anybody. I've had some business deals go sideways. I've had, I've had people steal from me. But if they're, if you got fired for not getting the jab, could see if you can sue them. Just take a, take a Friday or a th or Monday. Start on Monday. Email ten lawyers. Hey, can I do a five minute phone call? I have this thing I want to, I want to talk about. Do 10 five-minute phone calls with local lawyers. If you have $10,000 to throw at something, it's like, you know, playing, it's the same as scratch tickets. Yeah. I, sue, I try to sue you for $10,000, spend $10,000 on the lawsuit, sue you for whatever. It might work. It might not. Funko is losing money and dumping millions of dollars of products into the landfill. I saw that. I love that so much. That's the, really? That made me smile. 
Yeah, they're Funko Pops. The, the the best business move they can do, like the cheapest, the best way that they can manage their like over overage of inventory, yeah. is by destroying millions of dollar millions of dollars worth of Funko Pops. Really? Yeah, because if they sold them, it would tank the tank the price and the rarity of their yeah. whatever. And uh, they can't, you know, give them away to charity for the same reason. So they're just dis- destroying their little vinyl crap figurines. That's insane. It's awesome. Made me real happy when I heard that. By doing this one simple trick that I'm about to show you. Watch this. I can show you how to get this. Whoa! That's right. This real, the, the TikTok stuff and the, um, like, advertising micro businesses and drop shipping and, like, all the different angles people are taking, it's really reached this kind of, like, crazy like peak of just like foaming see there's like rainbow foaming nonsense layer that you that is seeping into every layer of the whenever you open a screen up trending isis israel under attack and then logan paul i love how the the logan paul and ksi twitter stuff is just continuing yeah completely oblivious to like world any world, world war, war three, three yeah. type stuff it's just like you didn't like prime because Prime! You said Prime? I don't think so. I'm drinking Prime right now. <laughs> also, I went to a supermarket today and they had a Prime display and there was a little kid in there who was like, whoa, Prime! Really? Yeah. But then I was like, whoa, Prime. Yeah. As well. Have you tried it? No. Apparently it's really bad for you. Is it? Yeah. I'm not surprised. It's just sugar, basically. It's just like Is it just sugar? sugar? I, I don't know. What a I bunch of know. idiots. Is, is it, does Prime have sugar in it? Yeah. Stupid. Now, I, I think it has less sugar than the other ones, but it's not. We're making a drink. We are. And it will be good for you. Uh, hey, Sam, I saw you talking about following a driver who called you an a-hole on PGL. I do that all the time with my friends, and my friends think I'm crazy. It gives me a good laugh when you can tell that you they know you're following them. Yeah, it gives me a rush, man. It gives me a rush. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it, but... It's just the most hype feeling. <laughs> Any advice for multiple shorter attackers? I'm um, looking for serious self-defense applications only, uh, willing to take fatal action if necessary. Fatal windmill kick, fatal arm swinging, whirlwind, Diablo two barbarian, dual wielding, unarmed, like this. Whoosh. That type of thing, just faster. That was for demo purposes. It should make a sound effect when you do it. And you should be holding knives. Just tape, strap some knives to your shoes and just start kicking. <laughs> I yell at doctors and nurses when I see them really? walking around in their scrubs. Yeah. 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 I put the window down and say, hey, you doctor, you work on humans or animals? Humans? F*** you. <laughs> Drive off. It is better to be a vet. That's a, that's a you know, you got to make sure you're not yelling at a, at a uh, veteran. A vet. You know, I honor the vets, you know. Thank, always thank the vets. They thank served. The vets. Hey, they served. I think that's the one where I drove around the ghetto and threw trash out the, <laughs> out the car. But yeah, that was a uh, that was a that was a moment right there. Threw a can of chicken grease out oh, out yeah, the window. Uh, I stopped. I did stop littering though. But that was your final foray. That was littering. that was my final big one. It's like when you quit drinking and you just like get faced. That was your your last night of littering. Yeah. Some lucky kid out there got a sleep apnea uh, machine, a Philips Dream Station. That's one of the good ones. It's the best one. It's also the one that uh, gives you cancer, I think. Really? I think they had a, they had a lawsuit. <clears throat> Is that why you threw it out? No, I threw it out because I wasn't using it. Um, yeah, Philips CPAP lawsuit. So the, a- anytime, I'm so trained now. I've always been this way. Anytime someone's like, it does, this product does X, Y, and Z, and it also, it also cleans, uh, blacks your car tires. Yeah. Detergent car tire black wipes i i mf hate wipes you don't like dude wipes no man i would i will if like yeah. scented trash bags synthetic like cleaner yeah i went to an airbnb and i was having horrible allergies and she was like a health food nut mm-hmm. and she was like let me make you this garlic thing she spilled like an entire thing of toilet bowl cleaner and that that pissed me off crazy she was this whole like holistic lady with this garden, deodorant. Girls wearing deodorant is Girls wearing deodorant is from outer space, the concept of that. But um, I knew 
when I saw that they had uh, um, CPAP machines with an option to whatever, I knew that was going to cause cancer. And then I looked this up later. It's, it's um, Dream Station 1. Good God. Dream Station 1 emits formaldehyde. So you're overnight eight hours. At eight hours, you're breathing in formaldehyde, formaldehyde from uh, degraded polyurethane foam particles. It's time to dot, dot, dot. You know what it is. It's time to wrestle. Yeah, it's time to wrestle. It's time to, it's time to mud wrestle. It's time to do something. Can you imagine if someone, if is a family member of yours got head and neck cancer? Head and neck cancer? You oh, kidding yes, me? Yo. Yeah. Well, it's nice. Can't wait till they have genetically engineered mosquitoes to deliver vaccines. That'll be great. Oh, well, you save a ton malaria? of time. Yeah, uh, well, not yet. Uh, It'll save us a ton of time if they can do that. Yeah, another convenient time saver. You can always try to fight it. You can always try to sue what the Gates Foundation or something. <laughs> <laughs> go, go ahead. <laughs> you, wait, you probably gonna sue a bank? <laughs> what are you gonna sue Switzerland? Like, who are you gonna sue to get through to that? Chris Lo Klein, <laughs> Lloyd's of London. <laughs> yeah, yes. Yeah, so you sue Lloyd's of London, they'll. Land, they don't even, they just fly as... They just send David Blaine to your house? <laughs> He's telling me a ring full of quarters. Right when, you, Lloyd. right when you see it's David Blaine, they know you have a way out of your own house, so they, they land as jumbo jet on your house. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they fly a 747 nose down into your house. You're facing David Blaine in court. He's eating glass. <laughs> Hold on. He's floating. Emmett Smith. Him and the judge are doing Mas Masonic. Oh, that again? <laughs> They're doing Masonic. He, he's there with... <laughs> wait, David Blaine, he shows up. He's there with Leo DiCaprio and Spider-Man. They got their cocks and their balls and their, their pubes out. <laughs> <laughs> Remember that classic? I don't know if it was fake, but I still liked it. Remember the, one of the old Pussy Posse classics? Uh, them with, the, with their cocks out, uh, smiling. But it, I guess maybe fake, but I assume that it's real because I don't mind looking at their cocks. Honestly. What is y'all's take on residential solar industry? It's a bitch to sell you a house after you put panels on i'll tell you that much because not everybody owns their panels yeah. so this is a little something that nobody really knows you go and put the panels on your house yeah it's obviously in some sort of 30-year loan with the solar company yeah you want to sell your house jet's going to come in and buy it and jet says i hate solar i'm going to put geothermal in this house mm -hmm. get the panels off mm -hmm. put a volcano in they lean your house so you're like i need to get the panels off because this guy wants to buy it and they're like, all right, good, great. Uh, the remainder of your contract is 19000 We're going to take that out of the pro proceeds of your house. Wow. I mean, obviously, they're going to try to jam solar down everybody's throat mm -hmm. because they don't want, like, oil's bad. You oil's been <laughs> everything. Oil's the greatest product ever. Yes, And we it have is, more man. of it. We have more of it than anyone else in the world. Oh, my we God. We should be drilling like crazy. They can get trucks to 50 miles a gallon. That's neither here nor there. You, can, you, you, can, go you can suck up energy to heat homes and fuel like industry and transportation every like fuel the modern world you can put it in a in a barrel and transport are you, are you kidding me right by the way a solar car or a fucking electric truck is not going to pull it's not going to haul a fucking 18 wheeler across the country on a charge it's not going to get there it's not quite simple it's the residential not. solar <laughs> mm, there's God, poison fuck. everywhere. Yeah. Yeah, I put down so much poison. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank God. This is a poison bullseye. Mm -hmm. That's the way they do it. You set the outer perimeter and then you set the inner perimeter. Yeah. But we are in the middle of the uh the where, where they sp sprayed the most of We're it. sitting on a two pound zero a four hundred pound bag of uh of uh Limo disultrin. Yeah. One of the disturbing things is uh the Sodium Chinese when they ship stuff from China, the container ships, they they'll spray pesticide just in the center. And because they're lazy, they're not going to spray it in little amounts all over. So they spray, they'll dump a huge load of pesticide in the center of the container ship, so that the stuff on the outer, the edges, so it gets, hits it, gets enough pesticide. But if whatever product you bought is in the center, when you get it and it smells like uh, weird, that's because it's been soaked, over, soaked in pesticide. It's got like a fire sprinkler, which is like draining. Yeah. Speaking of parasites. Yeah. Have you seen the uh, video of? The praying mantis that gets dropped in the water and the parasites pop out of it. Oh yeah, you know I think all that's a Chinese psyop though. They just put all kinds of they, they, the Chinese. They'll do anything to make a TikTok video interesting. I don't I don't really care what type of extraterrestrial yeah. experiments live in China that Chinese people can tease out of organisms like magic.